Zambian developers. This is Zambian guys. So 35th tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating some custom fonts as like this. And this is my custom font. And I'll be placing that custom font inside my Android asset folder and then resources folder of iOS project. So in order to create such type of project, I'll go to new and then select project. Select a cross platform as we are writing code for both Android and iOS and click on OK. After that, you can select a shared as well as a portable project. Now let us go to app.jaml which has two parts there, jaml as well as .cs part which is an important part for our whole program as it contains our main page as a placeholder where we are navigating our main page to start from our main view. Now let us go quickly towards our view folder. Here I place two content pages there, custom navigation page as well as main view. As we have already discussed about custom renderers in previous session, it has two parts there, element as well as renderer. This custom navigation page is my element part which describes our visual elements such as text, text colors as well as fonts. So in order to create that folder, we have to select that new folder and for that content page, we have to go to add new items and then select Xamarin forms and then select that content page and then give same name as custom navigation page and main view. That's all and click on add. I have already added, that's why I'll place it cancel. Here you will get your content page, just rename it and then change it to navigation page. Since this page is my element part. In this piece of code, this custom navigation page gets inherited from our navigation page. A page is a visual element that occupies entire screen. These are my methods that I'll be using inside my element part of custom navigation page. We have already discussed about content page in previous session. I'll give the title name as custom font main page as you can give anything for that. And you can play with this palace also. In this text as custom navigation fonts and horizontal option I have placed at center and vertical option as center. This is my code behind of main view which will get inherited from content page. In previous session we have already discussed about renderers why they are used inside our Android as well as iOS project. Now let us put some fonts inside our asset folder. So in order to get that font we have to first of all go to our C drive, main drive and then go to our fonts folder and then select our two type file as it is supported by android project as well as ios so paste it over here i've already pasted same we have to do it for our ios project also so go to our ios project and then go to resources here you will find our to type file inside our resources folder I have already pasted you have to paste over here this font name will be used inside our renderer part of Android project as well as iOS project here my custom navigation page is a placeholder class in my common PCL project and my custom navigation page renderer is the name of the actual platform specific implementation class in my iOS and Android project here we are telling our Xamarin forms when you need to render our custom navigation page on platform Android to use the class custom navigation page renderer. Here we are using renderer because it takes the control element and turn it something visual for the platform that is our Android platform. This is the same font that I have already placed inside my offset folder. Then let us rename it and then copy and then paste inside here. Okay that's all for our Android project. Now, let us quickly go to our, our iOS project. Inside our renderer folder, I have already created my render folder and you have to create a new class as custom navigation page renderer. Here, we have to give same name as inside our resources folder of iOS project. Here also we are telling our Xamarin forms when you need to render our custom navigation page using the class custom navigation page renderer. Let us build and compile our project whether it gives me correct output or not. Let's see. Okay, it's building. Okay, we got our expected output. That's all for this tutorial now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.